Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to Tesco and Morrison's to go see what they got. It's like the only stores here. They seem to be bigger. I think that's how it is in a smaller city. Not too busy, bigger. And uh, it's overall nicer people here so far in general. So it's been quite nice actually. And uh, I guess I'm going to let you know how things go. I'll show you if there's something interesting and stuff. If it's boring, it's going to cut back to going home again. You know, nothing much. I woke up about an hour and a half ago. So I'll see you there. Hopefully I can drive this thing. Ugh, stick shifts, dude. So we just got here and ah, there's a stupid roundabouts always in the UK here. It's horrible, especially driving a clutch. I'm getting better, but ah, it's horrible in general. Who designed these? How stupid do you have to be to design that? Anyways, here is the Tesco right over here. And yeah, I'm just gonna let you know what's inside there. But ah, these people are definitely really rude, even for a small city. They're better here because I know London bigger cities in general are horrible, but here yeah, it's like less bad But still people are assholes a lot so so uh, yes uh, the water here for example is like 415 instead of 325 with our card should be like 350 for a six pack of Buxton so a bit pricier store so far, but it's a bit rude here, right? Yeah, Somewhere yeah. Rude. I was kind of shocked because we went to Poland and <laughs> we spoke really bad about them. Because uh, at the least workshop, everyone is coming and it's like, Krakow is better. So you're probably going to go there uh, sometime in the future to make sure. So I don't know why I didn't record, but you can see they don't refrigerate eggs here or anything. And I don't know why people will still argue with me on this constantly, despite all the research pointing to it. It doesn't matter if you vaccinate your chickens or... Uh, wash the uh, don't wash the eggs you still need to refrigerate them and uh, just keep them fresher i think people don't do that here corporations because charge a lot of money for electricity and they still want to in general people buy them you're supposed to put them in the refrigerator at home people still argue with me on this anyways surprise it's like that in the first world country too so that's insane i'm just trying to like find basic beans and stuff and uh it's impossible everything's like processed like sugar in it or it's completely unhealthy. This is just as bad as the U.S., if not worse. Literally 28 cents for this, as you can see. And it's just like processed with a bunch of crap inside it there. And it's crazy. Sugar, glucose, fructose, syrup. Like, as if as if I need sugar all over in my beans. Like, dude, how are you supposed to work out getting a bunch of sugar like that? It's insane. I don't know why it keeps not wanting to record. I, had a, I, I caught the first second this time. But uh, anyways, done shopping here. And I uh, got a few things. The various spices and different stuff like as you can see huge amounts of various spices two rows there is uh, a lot and uh, came out to be about 83 pounds I think so got some flowers there candle a couple other things put in there giant candles on sale for 12 pounds and uh, all that good stuff so um, it's about to rain we're gonna have to Morrison's now as Tesco and not fan their club card always charging higher prices if you don't have the card so it's the way I look at it at least, it's have a discount with their card. Yeah. So, I'm outside of the store, I had some interesting things there. Um, cheaper than Tesco, it's like a better store, definitely. And I got all my stuff done, wouldn't let me um, scan multiple items together, so I scanned 20 sets of masks, that was fun. And uh, apparently, I thought she was taking the key out of the bag because she asked me what it was, I started going over to it. So, I ended up locking the key in the is in the bag in the trunk of the car and now I had to call a locksmith for 150 pounds to go do this that's actually open now I don't know if I got a cheaper thing but food's gonna spoil basically so I'm actually quite pissed about that right now and uh, yeah just this sucks ass <laughs> 150 pound gone for that wonderful I'm gonna come and do this they are charging you so much for this wow Okay, anyways, uh, maybe, maybe it's not so much. Maybe it's just like what the service cost here. But yeah, I'm pretty pissed off. So hopefully he comes and gets this resolved soon and uh, I'll be going back home. And yeah, just kind of processing what happened here. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. Cause, uh, oh, frig, that would suck. Please don't rain. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll give you an update in a minute. Damn, this sucks. So, uh, the guy called to the wrong city, not Crediton here where we are at Morrison's. So, basically, um, yeah, just basically ended up getting freaked on that and uh, calling a few different numbers. Ended up calling him back by another number, someone recommended. 
to us. So I talked to him. He's like, wait, who is this? And he was like, oh, you the guy who got locked up? I was like, yes. Like, oh, okay. How far away is it? And he's like, oh, about 15 miles, maybe. I don't know, something like they said. And so he's busy with the guy's house right now, or someone's house, unlocking it. And he's going to come uh, here, I guess, drive here after that. Um, and it's going to take two, like, you have two hours basically up here showing to park. Otherwise, you get like a hundred pound fee. And uh, I was going to go to the next place. Uh, we're staying up for testing, apparently, I think so. <sighs> That's fun. Going to probably definitely have that and probably talk to them in there because what happened, we can like tell them what happened and we're not going to have any type of fee we can get rid of it. I don't know. This has just been turning into a nightmare. It's going to start raining. I think I felt a raindrop on me. Anyways, that, that's it for now. This has been so depressing. I'm back home now. It took a while. I, I can't remember exactly why I told you, but called the guy to the wrong city that he was already in before. and We went to Craig Tyson and said all that. And, Oh, we got inside, watched him do everything in 150 pounds. Damn, 180 dollars. Anyways, oh, no food all day. Finally got a bit of water here. Not much water all day. Just, ah, oh, phone rough. Anyways, went and talked to the owner and I got back and told her what happened. Like, uh, sorry for the delay. I've been out. Uh, got locked on my car all day. So, um, she just basically responded with oh I hope I hope uh, her, my pet is okay being inside and uh, doing all right basically that's all you said like something similar to that like basically that and we were just in shock like if this host is a good person she should say something like uh, oh I'm so sorry to hear that I hope you're both okay and uh, apparently no, that didn't even go in her. I just realized I should be quieter because there's neighbors around here. People can hear. So, yeah, that's, that's basically... She just, like, said that. Like, I hope my dog's okay. So, yeah, guys, that's... We're both in shock. I was, like, not even asking if we're okay. Just, like, oh, hopefully, I hope my pet is not being bothered by this at all. Basically, it's, like, you really care about an animal above human beings. I get it, it's your pet. And I would also have a concern. But I'd ask how the people are doing first. Make sure they're okay. And then, uh, after that, just say, also, my pet, they're okay as well, right? If you're okay, they're, my pet's okay, everyone's okay. And uh, I'll reply, yeah, 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 everything's great. Because so we bought a toy. And she's eating it now. <laughs> she's enjoying it. bacon flavor but uh bought that before we arrived we got locked out of the car so had that in our hands still had to like <laughs> take it into the store had it up on top of the car one time we both went as well no one stole it so i saw the person has the most reviews has like a hundred reviews and a hundred places where no one reviewed as well so 50 50 like if you don't review a place it's like three star two star even one star experience from what i saw yeah, honestly like after I said, oh, I bought a toy, then she started being like, oh, yeah, yeah, I hope you're okay, basically after that. Like saying, uh, oh, I hope, you, I hope uh, you get some food and water and uh, all that crap. Like, like she pointed that out to me as well, basically saying that. And I was realized, oh, yes, you're right. She started saying that after I mentioned buying a toy for her pet. <laughs> and maybe even her daughter in the group chat messaged her mother and said, mom, you're being a... Like, like an asshole here, like, you should buy your ass, make sure they're okay as well, like, I don't even know. Am I just, like, is this just me? I would feel horrible saying that. I would ask if the people are okay. I would want to know. Is it just me? Because I feel like most people I keep seeing are not like this. It's humanity this last. Anyways, we're going to take the dog on a short walk here and uh, finish up tonight. Cook some food, maybe. Go try to sit down and relax a little bit before we sleep. It's been... 
a lot of hell here constantly. And uh, almost got hit by a truck earlier as well. Actually, the people, the roundabouts here, and constant like so many roundabouts, so many weird just like, cars going from everywhere. Horrible here compared to the U.S. And, and the the roads here are freaking messed up. And everyone thinks they have the right of way. And the truck looked like a big truck was like slowing down. It's like it's going to let me go. I'm going and it ends up like honking it like hell at me. Like what? I saw a lot of these truck drivers should have their licenses taken away. Thank God AI is going to come and, and drive away these trucks and, and get rid of people. People are not fit for doing this. People act like animals too much. People truly act like animals. Yeah, that's it for now. Basically, um... And up uh, going here, I'll show you a couple of things we got. It's just some of these spices there. Peanut butter and various things over here. We already had a bunch of this. Yeah, that'll be good. But uh, I'm not going to record in there because it can probably, I don't know if that means it's copyright free or not at all. So that's it. Um, so I'll just say now for everything. Anything else you want to say? Oh, I just want to say that's kind of crazy. This factor again of females are probably worse than males because uh, your credit card was not checked by the male but was checked by the female she didn't even want to give you the receipt she got upset yeah I'm glad you brought that up. I forgot about that actually. Uh wanted to sit back in my car and go through all the protocol and the guy was like basically like eh. and she said yes uh, verify signature uh, like it cause such assholes like I just keep saying this all the time and Again, there are plenty of issues with, with guys, but it's just horrible because there's so many things that are wrong and people will never listen to you. They'll never listen to you. It doesn't do any damn good. Um, I, I just really don't know what to say. I can keep saying it, screaming at the top of my lungs. I can scream it from a mountaintop. And nobody will hear. Anyways, yes, worst experiences today again with... Females, like you said, than males. I honestly have to say, growing up with my family, I had less issues with guys in some way, but worse issues in some other ways, definitely. Really depends, but for like dramatic things and, and crap, often, yeah, I'd say girls were like more problematic in my life growing up. And family all the time, just nightmare to deal with. Like, just please leave me alone. Let me just like be by myself. Let me do my work. Let me do my things. And, and like, girls will get pissed off over that crap, so. Uh, YouTube is probably going to frick everything because they're going to get more and more toxic every year. Oh, you can't see his stuff. No, they used to say in 2017, what is freaking changed in six or seven years? What? It's absurd how humans are. This way of being correct. I just follow logic. That's it. Someone points out something that is correct. Based on logic, okay, we'll follow it. I'm open-minded. I can do that. Looks like most people aren't, unfortunately. If YouTube ends up taking down things when you're speaking the truth, I will have no choice except to create a new platform. And I guarantee you, I will make it as big as possible, and things will go out to people. Depends on who's doing it. Depends how much ambition is behind it. Depends on the amount of intelligence as well. Like, there's three things that's going to make something super powerful. I can't, I can't even remember. It's crazy. So much stress off of the food is really worse than South America. Like, the food in America as well was horrible. Food in America, food in Europe more, in the UK. Specifically, the UK is worse. There was more food poisoning in Poland, for sure. To clarify, you need these three things. It's been several minutes, I just can't remember. Intelligence to be able to go and do something, and no true intelligence as well. Not famous people like, oh, I know how to do these things. You need to have actual intelligence to know what's the best thing for people. Then you need to have ambition to actually go take that intelligence and go and do something with it. And then you need to know exactly how to fit all this together, to work with people, I had to do everything. I just can't remember the third thing. I don't remember if it was time. I can't recall, but there are three things I remember I said you need to be truly successful. And this is what makes any person successful with the best businesses in the world. And unfortunately, they don't truly have all three. And that is why you see so much of the world failing today and taking so long to progress. Anyways, artificial intelligence will have all these and it will be no problem anymore. 
people will not need to worry anymore about anything. Hopefully. Hopefully it takes proper stance and does things in place of governments and police and military and workers because it'd be a utopia, hopefully. And if not, it'd destroy the human race. I feel like we're kind of just suffering anyways in some form. Most of us, at least, if you look at most of the world. Poverty, ridden, horrible living conditions and there's no wonder why so many people kill themselves every day, right? Well, that must describe something. So, that's it for now. I'll see you later in our update. Uh, get back to you. Alright, so about ready to leave here soon. We're just talking kind of about the last place as well and ended up having them review us and they did not put five stars on several things and despite saying we're like uh, great with their pets, they put four stars for us not being with their pets and they put five stars for everything and everyone else, every other review by us, no. So I feel like there's a lot of factors that were at play with this. I feel like he was really jealous as well because his wife kept like texting me in weird ways in the group chat and it was awkward. And also, I think he felt weird about us saying, oh, I got a new car. And, like, all these things, if I can contribute to these situations. And my age as well, like, doing all this at a younger age. And he's like, I'm not old in the slightest, really. All this put together, it's like, I feel like these people were definitely assholes in the last place because it smelled horrible like paint. Still freaked me up mentally from all that horrible. By the time we were leaving, it finally stopped more so smelling like paint. And the bed was so uncomfortable, horrible springs, freaking your back up. And their dogs had all kinds of different issues that we haven't had in a place before. In this place, well, no issues like their dogs. And um, abusive uh, guy below us maybe owns the place technically, or like the landlord, I don't know. Smoking marijuana constantly, just a hell, hor horrible issues. We cooked them a meal uh, with expensive fish, vegetables, everything. Left a note, I uh, left them a candle as a gift, a big candle there, and just wished them a great time. And the like they were completely rude and grateful to us because they rated us lower than any other people out of like five to ten people who stayed in their place. Same with like uh, the place before that in a lot of ways because like we had kept the dogs outside and, and closed because we were eating. I was also on the phone for the person talking to them for the last place we were in. So the first place is where I was doing this and the second place was the last place we were in if that makes sense. I was back up in crew at the first place and she comes in home just like unexpectedly not announced at all. It's like rudely opens the doors, lets all dogs in all around the food, interrupts my calls, just speaking loudly, everything, and it's just, it's so rude, you'd have to see it. You just have to truly see it to understand. It's so rude. Like, because you do better than people, they get jealous and they try to like attack you and rate you low in different ways. It's absurd. Oh, yeah. We do more than so many people. We groom their dogs so well. We put special paw balm on their, their paws, make their feet less cracked. We take care of them very well. We, we do everything, show them affection so much, and they just falsely put these bad reviews. It's absurd, like, here's this one for now, hey. Hey, look. We came here to this place, and even she was really depressed when we first got here. And she's taking a bit of time, she's a little bit less depressed looking now, but she was horrible. Hey, say hi. Hi. Say hi. But it's different than Poland and Brazil. It's really different, the issues. Like, it's just like this year's back in the U.S. Very different issues. It's bizarre. It's truly bizarre. Anyways, that's about it for now, I, I guess. Like, I had uh, a worker, basically. Uh, I'll work. I had a supervisor, manager more, actually, that uh, was stupid as hell with me because specific name she had. And every time I meet that name on this platform as well, it's a horrible experience, constantly. And so I told you with name psychology, you really have to pay attention to these things. I'm not going to start saying names so people are all pissed off and everything because I just know how people are already. People are not smart and they can't take things and they're bad people to begin with. They're going to probably just cause issues, like whatever. So, um, yeah, I'm just avoiding specific names all the time and uh, quite a few of them actually. Just doing what we can to go forward because uh, I'm like going to actually let everyone review us just to show how bad people are here and uh, prove to people it's like, the dogs is great. I can even show the things I'm using all the time. Really, literally spending so much time in their pets, helping them, even cuddling with the pets in the bed in the last place, helping them through everything. And their other dog, Indy, was really vicious. So, it bit you, yeah, like like essential, like soft a bit, but very, yeah, still, it's very at your chin. Like it's absurd. 
I saw pets often act exact like their owners. So when you see pets that have issues more, like, or if they're depressed, or like something's going on between their owner most of the time. Like, it couldn't be a genetic issue or some other factor, but often, from what I'm experiencing so far, it's the owner. It truly is. I guess that's about it. I'm about ready to take off here soon. Um, got a four and a half hour drive coming up from uh, Crediton. We're gonna probably pass through Birmingham and head back up towards Liverpool here, so just below Liverpool. And uh, this is gonna be my breakfast here, I think. Got some of this peanut butter go open, might put some vanilla extract in it. Some of this uh, cola and dark chocolate there. And I'll put some uh, cashews up and walnuts there to put in. So, um, be an interesting breakfast probably to head out with. Organized here are spices. It looks great. Let's head back outside for a second, but it's so bright, I can't see. So yeah, hopefully I can re try to record something on the road to show you, I don't know. It's so difficult, I need a new phone, it sucks. I, I have to have a new phone. It's so impossible, I can't record out the back. After like 20 seconds, stops focusing, it just burns up the phone and makes it want to shut down. So just front camera works, so. Probably too much power in the back for this old phone. That makes me i7, so. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you in a bit when we're on the road. I um, almost completely forgot. Just want to say one last thing. When you're the only review that's worse than other people, it's people can be like, oh, it's probably you. You have to be lying or something wrong with you. What if it's not? What if it's because you're actually better in a lot of ways? Like being able to play an instrument or stuff, stuff these people do as well. They get jealous, all kinds of things, jealous about his wife, other things, and just people get jealous, they unfairly post a wrong review about you because you happen to be better than most of the people who stayed there. And I have the issue everywhere I went all the time. People around me want to rob me or do things just because of the way I look or the way I'm able to do things. Like I've spent a lot of time studying, so it's a constant issue because I did talk to them about different things and. If you want proper review, just shut your mouth. Don't tell people, oh, I can do this, or I like to do this in my free time. Like, don't tell them what you're able to do. They'll get jealous that you're decent and uh, really good at a lot of things, especially for your age. And it's just a piece of advice, because I think that's what's going on here. And we're going to just test this and see as we go. But I have constant issues with the country Italy, and it's horrible. You saw my issues in Brazil, hopefully, about it. It is horrible. Here's another piece right here, and I paid... Three pound, 20 pence, 460 grams of this crap here. And I think it's just made maybe in the UK from Italian milk, so they could put the name. But anyways, it says on the back, like right here, if you can see that. And I'm not sure it's gonna focus, but it says basically Parmigiano Reggiano PDO cheese. Warning, made with raw milk. It just says that like, so, you Google that and it's like, oh, it's not been pasteurized to kill bacteria and all that and pathogens. So we ate that. We got food poisoning, started feeling horrible last night after eating it an hour or two later. And woke up, like, like horrible, weird dreams, horrible, weird dreams. And woke up, I had such heart pains constantly, both of us, really bad heart pains. Like I was having a heart attack almost. And it's been a while since I've had these issues so much, I think. Had issues back in Poland, all over Brazil, obviously. And definitely some issues back in uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, the first place we went for pet sitting, and it's because we were getting food poisoning from the restaurant. But cooking at home more, we have had less issues. And to think, they're allowed to sell this stuff? Do, are they just allowed to sell non-pasteurized milk? Because normally it's illegal, right? They're just doing it because of the Italian tradition crap. Like, what? I'm sorry, I just, I'm not, I'm not understanding it. I'm not getting this, what? Like, can you help me understand what's going on here? Because for that to happen, to give that result in both of us, that should be illegal to sell these products. These companies need sued. And like we were talking as well last night. If America never existed, there may not be any of the technology you see today. Basically, everything you have today and everything you see today is because of America. Everything, the internet, car, airplane, basically everything in so many ways. So much of technology came just from America existing. Even if something was developed in Europe, it's because they're almost competing with the US or had ideas from the US from what I feel like we see in history. And so much. I, I feel like we are very fortunate because if those are species, they probably take a long time to go and research things and actually learn maybe 500 years or more. Maybe a thousand even, whereas with America we had done 70 years, for example, right? 
the same uh, technological progression. So without that country, we'd have maybe not even cars or airplanes or anything. We'd have probably anything. So the whole world has benefited from that country existing, even if it's horrible and toxic today, and it's falling in a lot of ways. And we were just thinking about this last night, and I was in shock, saying, yeah, we're, we're fortunate to have the anomaly known as America because it is responsible for about everything you see today. Truly, it's absurd. Every time you use your phone, you're getting your car, get on an airplane, go take anything for granted. The U.S. basically is the reason. Because people had time to get away from stupid people acting certain ways or culture in Europe and everything. And they had time to be free and think mentally away from the kings and retardation, stupid crap over here. And they were actually able to go progress and think about things, invent and develop in the U.S. And that's why everything happened the way it was. That's why Industrial Revolution happened over there. That's why things got so crazy there. While people were just thinking about the Renaissance and paintings and everything and, and just all kinds of stuff in Europe, people were developing all kinds of stuff and technology wanting to progress the world in the U.S. essentially. It's too bad the world can't see things the way they are. It's absurd. At least that's from what I know. I hate history. I don't like studying it so much. And I, I like looking at the future more and seeing what we can do. Learning a few important things from history, but more so focusing on our future and making our present the best we can with our future. But from what I know, this is essentially what's happened. And for example, the internet is one of the most fundamental things we have today for technology. And that not official intelligence coming up wouldn't be done without the United States. So again, proving what I said, to this day, they are still the country that is leading things and helping out the entire world in a lot of ways. When your jobs are gone and everyone's job is being replaced by AI and they're doing a work for you, thanks to the US, it's just thanks to the US. And it's gonna cause issues in its own way if governments don't actually do something and are smart about it. But what, what can you do? Blame all the governments, right? I would blame all the governments, not the US for like creating this technology. I wouldn't be blaming gov. I wouldn't be blaming the U.S. I'd be blaming all these other governments who are not able to actually keep up and help people when their jobs are being replaced. Like, it's, it's just how it works. Our species is supposed to progress. It's how we're supposed to do things. Blame the right people for, for what's going on here. Not, not the wrong people. The people actually sacrificing their lives trying to make our species better and more intelligent. Okay, so we're at home. Everything brought in packed. I don't know if you can see me at all barely. What the hell? Uh, everything's gone okay, it was really crazy at the start, but uh, I'm gonna go over more things tomorrow as a quick update for now. I'm gonna watch a movie for a little bit and uh, go to sleep here in a couple hours probably, so um, it's about 12, I think, now what time is it? 11.49, because the clock's fast, but about five hours of driving and the sack of cold stuff made it. It was still mostly frozen and uh, barely th the thawing, so that's crazy. Anyways, I did forget a couple of things like my Biscoff. We got my glass jar of Biscoff and a bit of an Angus burger. The reason we got them were like uh, Wagyu burgers, like 5% Japanese Wagyu. Little rip off the branding, but she didn't even need it. So uh, we forgot all that there. And not too much, anyways, but uh, it makes me sad a little bit. But um, yeah, I should probably stop. Thinking. Oh, you can barely see me. Oh, that's crazy. Anyways, also, Fox's chocolate crap here is like a bad brand. They're horrible fake marketing. Um, show you tomorrow probably if you can see there better but let me see this is why you might be able to yeah this you can see this there's they show this like cream and everything it's fake there's nothing inside there's nothing they put nothing in there the brand is horrible the foxes <laughs> since 1853 foxes fabulous brandy snaps there's nothing in there Freaking like why why in the hell do you put something showing it's such bad marketing it should be illegal Any brand that does that piss off anyways here for over two weeks and I see about doing the business and getting things started a little more All right, so I'm uh, It's the next day. Um, there's some things I'm gonna go over and talk about this when I head out more but for now just like it's crazy because there's, I've never seen, there's so many flies here. Like, 
don't know if I can show you. There's so many flies here just like buzzing around. I don't know if you can see anything here with this phone, but it's so, so many. I hope you can see that. There's like four or five flies right here. It's absurd how many there are. I really, oof, it's, it's so many here. And I really don't know what to do with them all. I'm looking to see. Looking to see what kinds of things there are. Hey, Kilo. Anyways, uh, there's this spray that uh, the owner here recommended to use more so, but um, I'm, I'm going to avoid that because it looks like really toxic chemicals, it's like fly killer spray. I don't like breathing that in, so I prefer like fly paper, fly stickers just hang down. At least if they have them here in the UK, they have them in the US, it's really, really important and good. But uh, honestly, um, yeah. Uh, not not ideal at all to be breathing chemicals like that and, and don't feel the best. I don't even know what's in there. I'm I'm okay seeing with like how they put things in food imagine sprays like that. Uh like I said, uh to her. Things that have the ability to kill germs, bacteria, viruses, etc. Uh they're generally less toxic in a lot of ways than things that start killing larger things like flies, rodents, etc., poisons like all that. And uh, you want to be careful with it. But anyways, as I said here, um, I'm going to kind of go over things a little bit more. I know you want to move. Come on. So yeah. And 360 degrees and uh, moves everywhere, looks everywhere there. Yeah, anyways. Um, I'm going to go over things more later. And here is Kilo, like 11 I think. It's auto, 18 months old or so, the black one there. And uh, they're fun, they were going crazy. Otto is one year old. Yeah, one and a half, 18 months old. And Otto's claws are extremely sharp, already cut us and uh, had issues. Again, I'm gonna speak about things more here a bit later. But uh, I'll, I'll end the vlog after that. And uh, just kinda go, go um, into the next one. Uh, that's the update for now. I just thought I would show you these things and yeah, I, I really have to always make sure I'm getting documentation to show things because like a horrible people in the last, like, not last place, but before that. Uh, with the review and everything I left, uh, probably the worst review you can ever have. It's crazy. Um, I just talked about the truth and reality. I ended up writing that up last night and just remembering, yeah, like, that place was pretty rough. You, I, I might read the review to you, but uh, it's like also... The pregnant woman smelling secondhand marijuana smoke and everything like that's uh, horrible. These these uh, other people there, I I'm just in shock. I I don't know how to speak really. Uh, people can be so not caring for their unborn child. Like seems like parents really don't care about their children at all. Just care about how cute they are for a little bit when they're young, and then they stop caring. I always see this everywhere so much. People are horrible, right? Anyways, um. I'll probably pick up again when I head out to so go explore the area, see something maybe. Pretty busy here always, so I need to probably not spend too much time going out, but uh, I w whenever I do, I I'll try to remember everything and uh, pick up on that. Okay, I'm back again real quick. Just, uh, there's a lot of issues here. We weren't talk about where the harnesses are and such, but like down here, I need to show this. We're trying to clean this out. I hope we can put some pictures up. It is so bad and through all over in deep through. I don't even want to touch it. It's like, I don't know if you can see enough already, but it's it's so bad. I'm not touching that. It's like black motor. I don't know where she's put the wipes at, but it's a bunch of them in there. If you can see, it's it's horrible in there. And she said she cleaned, tried cleaning the stains. And like, I'm telling her, no, you didn't clean the stains at all. It's completely just like coming off for us. Everywhere we go, we have to clean out bunches of mold all over in the washer. Is this how people freaking live? People are people are animals. If this is true, this is absurd. I wonder what you, as the audience, are gonna think about this. I truly do. What what is it that you will say? Because a lot of people are gonna say, "Oh, I don't care." Somehow, I think a lot of you may care. And I feel like people in the U.S. could maybe care more than people in the U.K. about cleanliness in some way. It really depends on the state, probably. But I just remember 
I don't think washers. I didn't. I don't think I remember seeing washers from people in the U.S. Generally, at least where I was at, ever having issues like this, ever. I I can't recall. It's so horrible. I I mean, if you agree, is this horrible? Like, <laughs> it's absurd. And and Kilo also the the older pit bull really sometimes gets aggressive almost even when uh, time to feed it all and stalks like a pit bull. People who have pit bulls really act specifically in specific ways and more violent and uh, all that like. Or just like other things they have, I feel like, yeah, this day is gonna suck ass, like horribly. So busy, can't even have time to cook, and just like living off like some jerky and uh, some type of snack and stuff like peanuts with uh, like shells or something around them, breaded peanuts or whatever, and don't have time to cook or do anything basically. I like, can't barely relax or anything, and have to go walk the dogs now. It's like. How are we going to have time to do anything else? We need to really start feeling out. Something's going to have to be pushed off the space stuff. We want to fully work on our future and, and do things. Because, you know, we only have so much time here. So, um, in general, in, in the country. So, it's just so, so invasive having that everywhere. It's not moving ever since I started talking. But I assure you, it's constantly moving and going. And even though. Ugh. Oh. It's, it's horrible, truly. Uh, I'm gonna conclude this later. So, um, I had to add this. I got this flies chased out and killed finally. Person didn't want to use fly paper or fly stickers. Probably they have it here because, uh, prefer chemicals because the other's gross. How do you prefer chemicals being breathed in over the air? No wonder it smelled weird as hell when I walked in yesterday. Apparently, she said she sprays like two or more times. Chemicals everywhere. Everywhere, just like soaked into your furniture and stuff. Yay, that kills things. Poison everywhere. That's wonderful. As if I want to touch that and then touch food and eat. And, uh, oh boy. Guys, I just had to call Travis at House Sitters here because it is horrible. It is so horrible how these people are on this platform. They're toxic as hell here. I saw, especially in the UK, the way these people are. It's it's so many bad people here in America. They do not expect you to do this many things from what I know. These people are freaking crazy here. Like, look at this. Let me see if I can show you properly. So, it's saying all the majority of washing machines has everything. And, uh, it's saying, oh, it's put uh, work clothes in or whatever. I can go it's to a laundry place somewhere else if I care at all. But all the molding machine, and I'm going to try to show you all this. And, uh... Uh, she thinks I'm being rude, and if you don't mind, I asked for a dog sitter, not a domestic cleaner or a groomer. Should I sound my son around to deal with it? He lives not too far away. And I was like, saying, oh, I, I can't even see the phone there, if it's in the camera. It's not rude, it's simply respect for both people. I wouldn't expect someone to sit for me if I were hosting and not have everything ready. There are other issues also regarding hygiene, but at the end of the day, it won't do any good to debate about it. Here's an objective excerpt from Google. Black mold is unpleasant and potentially hazardous to health. Washing machines, especially high efficiency front loading models, can be perfect breeding grounds for mold. Look, it shows everything here. Proper. It said, so warm, slush hot water and detergent, which contains bleach helps. It is truly hazardous to health. I wish it was my opinion, but that, uh, and, and that I was being rude, but it's our health and I'm sensitive as I have asthma. And you know what she said? Oh my god, any more problems you're going to give us? Ha ha ha. We're supposed to be enjoying our halls, holidays, I guess, with a house sitter. Please, can you relax and chill, mate? All right. I'll keep my health issues to myself then. Have a great rest of your vacation. So, you guys tell me, am I being an asshole here? Or is this person psychopathic and just the biggest asshole? Like, these people, this is right down below Liverpool, by the way. I'm not in Liverpool, right down below, really close, uh, towards the beach area. And this is absurd how bad this person is. I need to show people online how, how these people are, because there's so many people in the UK I saw that have mental issues. I think they're worse than Americans. Americans have a bunch of issues, but I think, from what I saw, I think people are worse in the UK. And people are psychopathic a lot in, in the US, but I feel like people are worse here from why. 
hurt with people and the way they're violent, like talking to different people. It's absurd. Why do you think Americans are psychopath, Justin? United Kingdom is the mother, huh? Do, don't you think they have to get that from something? Somewhere? I imagine so. This country is so. really. Oh, there's a lot of dark stuff happening here, so obviously, yeah. I'm gonna go out, walk the dogs, maybe talk to a few more things here. I don't feel safe speaking much here. Um, other than what I've said already, like, it is horrible. And and for them to actually like give us the ability to uh, go to a hotel, the host has to cancel on us and be like freaking hell with us. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. This uh, person's a piece of trash. Again, we were already worried about her name. And her name absolutely fit exactly what we said. Damn, this name psychology is so important to study. To show you again, just after that person was being complete slut, wonderful. Look, look what happened. There's everywhere all over here, and a bunch of freaking urine there. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's a, a coincidence, right? Completely, just like after a bunch of negativity. Put on us right after, didn't happen at all. Wonderful, strange. Like, like actually, I'm in shock. Like, <laughs> these people are so bad here. So many people here in the UK. It's absurd, truly. Okay, um, wouldn't be surprised. They try. I'm kicking this up. <laughs> wow, these, these are bad people here. So we're outside here, and uh, it's going to go walk some for a little bit. Uh, let them. Let me see if I can do this here properly. See. So, yeah. Pretty good here. Um, stopped raining. It was missing a little bit, but uh, it's gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna go down this way, but continue a little bit more. I don't know if that stopped recording. It should have, anyways. So, uh, I don't think I can record here, but so me, she's like, I think they call their neighbors out and just go like look at us and see if there's something weird going on here. And just like once we come out, see all these different people coming outside like look at us this is like gossip central this is absurd how bad these people are here these neighbors you can't damn do anything basically out here they're all just out here even in the rain partially the phone's getting right on top i'll put it away soon they're all out here trying to look at what we're doing just probably getting try, trying to get used to walking the pit bull and, and such and his spaniard i think it's absurd how bad these people are here I have to be quiet like damn mate what? They call you mate for buddy, like the kind of passive aggressive thing. Damn, dude. So horrible on everything. Like, if I look at you through the camera and just so many hygienic issues and all that, people are bad. So just slut for the owner's house here. Say, oh, I don't care about your health issues. Piss off out of here, mate. What the hell is wrong with these people? Come outside to watch us. They're literally coming outside to watch us here. I'm having to record whispering on the side here. So many people. What's wrong with these people? It's crazy. I'm trying to do our job early. It's not respecting us because we're taking care of the dog. I can just leave anytime I want. It's like, I'm freaking covered on this crap. She cancels, so. That's absurd how bad these people are, truly. This dog's really rough. Trying to think, we're sending some people over to the house we were at. Trying to get inside, almost even look around. And maybe do crap even. I don't want to go away from the house by at all. These people are suspicious as hell in first world countries, especially. Freaking out, dude. I don't even know what they're trying to do. I'm gonna walk back. Just keep his eyes even since their daughter, young girl, like walking to people outside here, just go look around. They're still down there now. It's random. We were not outside at all. And everyone came out after that. Just go watch us. It's absurd. Okay, I'm finished up later. Let me get back to you. I can't remember what I was gonna tell you in the house much. It's hard to with a get damn camera, but my phone's getting too wet now, so I have to pick up sometime. So oh, I'm gonna show this real quick. Looks like the wax and everything, extremely freaking just dirty. It's all horrible. How do I expect you to cook like this? It's a freaking oven. This place is absolutely insane. Bro, it's freaking completely scratched off. I can't even tell the setting up. I'm just gonna guess one of them and hopefully my food cooks. So the power has gone out because I turned on the oven to go cook some stuff. Like, I didn't know how to turn this on. This is actually like a crazy place. What? I'm so glad I can show people online how these things are. This is right below uh, Liverpool. These people are crazy towards the beach area here. What in the hell, dude?
So we just got back from a walk here. It's like our second or third day. And uh, technically third day. First day we walked them because the owners did that. And we went out just down this other way. Right back over here behind the house. More down. And uh, this must be a pretty poor neighborhood. Because it got poor over there just from walking one minute. And there's this field we went into, and there's a bunch of trash in someone's yard, horrible over there. And there was these kids in the park, maybe five, seven, eight years old. Two girls, two boys, and uh, we were going to the park, and they started showing, oh, look, I'm mag oh, magnet, so I got this. And it ran up to us, and it started showing, us like, oh, cool, it's a magnet. And put them together. Then he took, and I was like, that's a weird looking magnet, and he took it. And it was vaping. It was freaking vape. I never vaped before, so I don't know what it looks like. Now I do. It's like this plastic thing. These kids were vaping. Two of the boys. And he's asking if I would hold the if he could hold the key on my finger there. I have my finger on the chain. And I was like, what for? And the girl, two girls are saying, no, no, don't. He, he likes to steal stuff. Don't let him. And I was like, yeah, I kind of let you do that. It's not my key, and it's not my ability. He started asking me, like, oh, you know what, bonjour, do you speak French randomly? And like, yes, I know. We, and uh, we're speaking a little bit of French, and uh, randomly, just kind of changed subject. And then she said, it's like English, not her native language, actually. And then she, he, one of the boys just said, oh, okay, oh, well, well, I didn't care anything. So, um, it was not a subject of interest. And we were both just shocked, like, how poor this area is. People coming here to pest it would never talk about these things in reviews. They go out and see in the fields how it's a poor neighborhood, other issues. Like, I just, I don't see people won't speak about this. It's funny, right? Like, I just see positive things. Why is no one talking about this bad stuff in the reviews? Because clearly what's happening. Like, this is a poor neighborhood. And this explains all kinds of issues. And Otto, the black dog here... Ended up going back into the yard, and I don't know if I'll be able to put a picture in, but tore out all the flowers in the pot. I just had to go put stuff back in, and it's freaked up now, and... Oh, uh, these animals act like their owners. Truly, each animal for the owner, they got the pit bull, and you got the other interject dog for, you know, when the owner's happy, when they're not happy, and uh, truly, like, that's what she said, at least. And uh, it, it makes sense. Really weird people. Um... We went to the store, two stores earlier today, and uh, our idea was not good at all for us. So we went to the Tesco, and as usual, wasted five pounds on getting water because didn't have their stupid club card. Suck my cock, Tesco. Anyways, um, yeah, that's fun, always being charged extra for that. So, I really don't know. This has been horrible, truly. Um... I got 10% left on the battery here. I don't know how to finish this uh, vlog here. So, um, yeah, so much lying. If you ever end up trying to do this, just be aware. There's a lot of people not leaving genuine reviews for the hosts. And I saw a lot of people just being cowards, not speaking properly. I, I can see by the way people write. I'm extremely good in psychology. I can see exactly the way they write. Writing is one of my best subjects. I'm extremely good at writing and speaking. And I can completely see when someone is writing in a... Reserved, very reserved way, I'd say. So, yeah, I'm not too happy about that. Be careful about that uh, when when you're saying places. Make sure you pick a good one because there's a lot of trash people here, especially people trying to put all kinds of work on you, and you don't get paid for it. Just sit in their house, like taking care of their pets. The house would be empty anyways, so I don't consider that a form of payment. Should not be considered. It's gonna be empty no matter what. So you're just like trading kind of to help benefit each other, but. You're not getting paid for what you do. You're a slave, and that's what this job is. These vlogs have probably gone on way too long. I'm going to have to let this go for now and finish the vlog. So, um, yes, I know you want to come through. Uh, they keep pushing the door. Even if I lock it, they freaking just open it. Yes, I know you both want to go through. There's a big one, um, Kilo, and small one, black one there, Otto. So, I'm going to finish this up. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below if you agree with kids vaping. Well, yeah, no. Nah. Okay. So, I'm in shock, actually. Wow. Those kids are going to grow up, especially the, the two boys probably be in prison, I, would, I imagine. The two girls, at least one of them, I think, had shown signs of morality because said they were going to try to steal the key. So, 
I'm sorry. <laughs> parents doing horrible jobs. There's a lot of parents who should never have kids. Certainly. Certainly. Um, that's it for now. Thank you all so much. And please, I I'm sure there's all kinds of things you want to talk to me about. I will be waiting for it. And uh, just love to read them and see what you have to say. So, I'm just getting some things ordered for today on Amazon. And uh, we're going to have some things set. Hopefully, we'll be able to start business properly soon. Get everything sorted and organized here. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I do appreciate you all being here and uh, being with me through this entire journey. Because this has been hell for me in so many ways. I haven't even been able to wash clothes. Don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, it's not fun. It's not been fun at all. So, things are going to get better. Watch. I'm going to be in a Lamborghini before long. Trust me. I just know. I'm working hard for it. I know. Intelligence is all. Indeed pay off. So, that's it for now. And I will see you in the next video coming up.